imagine you have just like the earth here you have a giant solar flare hurtling at the earth the earth has its different atmospheric layers which are actually plasma double layers the magnetosphere the ionosphere etc that all absorb and reflect that solar flare as it comes towards us everything in the universe has this fundamental properties whether we're talking about valence shells and atoms or planets with their atmospheric layers or even us with our what we call an aura or our skin or the different layers that go down through our bodies each one of these layers separates us from the outside world or what we consider to be the outside world even if you start to look at things like how the brain is contained within the skull which is contained by muscle which is contained by skin it's all layers upon layers building complexity and that complexity allows isolation which allows consciousness to form and the more complex you are able to isolate that connection to the zero point field, the more you're able to have a more coherent consciousness. It's not just the brain in our bodies that has consciousness. Every single cell in our body has the same structure. You've got the nucleus of a cell, you've got the outer cytoplasm, then you've got the cell wall. All of these layers allow each individual cell to do its own processing within. And at the center of all that, we have DNA, which itself is a giant fractal containing energy that's constantly opening and closing depending on what needs to happen. 